So right here, we are solving an absolute value inequality. It's absolute value because it has the absolute value bar there and there. It's an inequality because the sign in the problem is not an equal, equal sign. It's a greater than or equal to. Okay? Now, in order to solve this, the first thing we need to do is get the absolute value all by itself on the left. So I'm going to add 6.5 on both sides like this. And when I do that, I get 3 absolute value of 4x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 16.5. Now what should I do? Divide by 3 on both sides. And so I have absolute value of 4x plus 2 is greater than or equal to... What's 16.5 divided by 3? 5.5, good. Now, do I have the absolute value where it's the only thing to the left of the inequality? Yes. And so at this point, what should I do? So at this point, in order for me to get rid of the absolute value, what do I need to do? Split it into two problems. So the first one I'm going to write is exactly what I see. 4x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 5.5. So I wrote it just like I what? See it. Now on the second one, I'm going to write it 4x plus 2. But I have to flip the sign, less than or equal to, and I need to change the 5.5 to negative 5.5. And so now what I'm looking to do is solve each of these equations. So on this left one, I'm going to subtract 2 on both sides. And so I have 4x is greater than or equal to 3.5. And then I will divide 4 on both sides. So x is greater than or equal to what? 0.875. 0.875. Since it is a terminating decimal, we went ahead and made it a decimal, right? Yes, sir. Okay, that decimal terminated. It stopped. Okay, on the other one, I'm also going to subtract 2 on both sides. So I get 4x is less than or equal to negative 7.5. Divide by 4 on both sides is exactly right. <coughs> X is less than or equal to negative what? One point, negative 1.875. Good. Eight. Negative 1.875 is exactly right. So now, notice I have how many solutions? Two. Two. So what I need to do at this point is put those two solutions on the what? Number line. Number line. So I'm going to draw me a number line. Okay. And I'm going to put the middle as zero. Now, the reason I'm putting the middle as zero is because 0.875 is very close to zero and negative 1.875 is very close to zero. So now I'm going to I'm going to number my number line. I'm going to call this 1. And I'm going to call this 2 and remember you're trying to get each dash on your number line the same distance apart. I'll call this negative 1 and this is negative 2. Okay? So now I'm going to put uh, negative, I mean, po positive 0.875 on the number line. <coughs> so I'm going to go right 0.875, which in my estimation is somewhere right here. Okay, now I'm putting a shaded in circle, not a hollow circle, because my inequality is what? Than. Not because it's greater than, because it's less than. equal to, not because it's less than. This is a greater than or equal to sign. Because it's equal to, I get a solid circle. If it were just greater than, it'd be an open circle. Okay, but now I need to shade it. It's, it's telling me to shade which direction? Right. To the right. So I'll shade it right. You can shade it like that. Or you can shade like this. You just have to put an arrow that indicates that it shades forever to the right. Now I'm going to shade the black one. Now you can see that the black problem right here is at negative 1.875 and it should be shaded to the what? Left. Left. And this equal sign means it's going to be what kind of a circle? Closed. Closed circle. So I'll go to negative 1.875 which looks to be about right here to me. Remember you're just estimating it when it's a decimal and then I'm going to shade it to the left, left or you can shade it on the line like this 
and put an arrow. And so now that I've gotten my two solutions, this one and this one, and I portrayed them on the number line, I'm done.